with flowers and floral patterns. I have a huge collection. I think flowers in general are like confettis that brighten up our lives. Sad kitchen, happy kitchen. Yeah, I think any place on earth gets happier and more cheerful with flowers and floral patterns. Welcome to my secret collection of floral fabrics. I love them so much. How can I eat them? I have to make a floral apple tart. Let's start by making the caramelized white chocolate filling. It is one of the most delicious things I've ever had. White chocolate in the pan. This is one of those recipes where we're gonna think that you did everything wrong because it's gonna look really weird until the last minute and then everything is gonna come to place and you're gonna say, magically, I did this right. Over low heat, I'm gonna melt this chocolate and I'm gonna show you all the steps this is gonna go through. You should never melt chocolate over high heat or you'll burn it. You're gonna think, whoa, this is looking awesome. You're gonna start to think that this is acting a little bit weird. The chocolate is gonna crystallize and you're definitely gonna think you screwed up. But if it's golden brown, just remove from the heat. But in a few minutes of the heat, this baby's gonna melt again and turn beautiful. In a food processor, add the caramelized white chocolate. Bloom the gelatin in cold water and add it to the warm milk. Once the salt, add the warm milk with gelatin in the food processor. As soon as the warm milk goes in, add the cold heavy cream. This temperature change will emulsify everything and make it beautiful. Whew. Well, let's hurry, because my food processor is spitting out my cream. Transfer all the content to a bowl. Roughly chop your walnuts and add it to the caramelized filling. Uh, I grew up like them and the party going ham. I threw up like them. Everybody gather around for the jam. We on to come up and here's the master plan. The plan is to disturb the planet. Please do not miss or panic. I'm flying from NY to London as I was across the Atlantic. <laughs> well, let me try again. Now check it out. Like the best you on pet at the soup I'm gonna show you how to make a super flaky crust. It's not crumbly, it's flaky, because those are two different things. It's the most traditional French one called pâte brisée. Very easy to put together and it works every time, even when you put zero effort to make it work. In a bowl, add flour, sugar, salt, and butter. And now, your hands are the only tool you need. Quickly work the cold butter in the dry ingredients until it resembles sand. Add cold water and work it just enough to bring it all together. Refrigerate this for one hour. Split the dough among six individual tin molds and prick the surface. Bake it at 350 Fahrenheit until golden brown. Fill them with the white chocolate caramel ice cream and reserve. To make the floral top, I like to use honey crisp apples because, well, they're crispy. Slice half of an apple very thinly in a medley. Stack them perfectly together and cut it in half. Make a long stripe of sliced apples, overlapping them a little bit. Brush them with a lemon to prevent oxidizing and browning, and roll it tight together, just like you would do with a little roll cake. Place them on top of the fill tart and fan out the petals so they can cover the entire surface. If you don't have a mandolin, slice the apples with a knife and soak them in water for 30 seconds. This way, they will be flexible enough for you to roll them. This tart is the perfect marriage between the flavors. You have a super flaky buttery crust then you have the most amazing feeling ever with this caramelized white chocolate and walnuts. And then this all goes really well with the honey crisp apples that brings that tartness to it, that goes well with the caramel, that goes well with the walnut, that goes well with the butter in the crust. It's like, ugh, it's breaking. Time to go in my mouth again. 
And I almost forgot to tell you another great use for patterns. They're really awesome to camouflage. So you don't have to share your dessert with anybody else. Just kidding. If you bake, you share. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to Food Network's YouTube channel. Hmm. I'm watching you.